Hey, it's Kevin Tofel with JK on the Run, and the FedEx man has just left the home office here. It's a little dark out because it's a Friday night here, so I've got every light on I could possibly use here in my home office. I want to share something with you that the FedEx man just dropped off. It's small but useful, and it's going to take the place of this old clunker. Boy, oh boy, this is big. Uh, I have to say that the Aircard 875U from AT&T, give them a little branding, AT&T, um, it's actually worked well. The problem has been coverage for me, and regular readers will know that because I just mentioned the other day that you've got to bear in mind the three most important things when choosing a wireless WAN card and provider, and those are location, location, and location. And quite honestly, the places that I'm going to now for work are very different than where I was going several months ago. I'm finding out that 95% of the time, I'm on edge connectivity here, not HSDPA, which this supports. So I'm paying $60 a month for this, and it's just not cutting it for me. So it's a nice modem, but I'll tell you, I just can't get over how big it is. I showed that in a prior video. Boy, oh boy, it's just a clunker. So what did FedEx bring me? What did I decide upon? Well, I went back to Verizon Wireless, and FedEx just dropped off the USB 727 modem. And let's just take a quick comparison here. You can hopefully see that it's roughly half the width in terms of thickness it's thinner uh, length it's about the same but boy oh boy it's just just a huge difference um, quite honestly it, it's because right off the bat let me open this up we don't have a battery to deal with and we don't have a sim card holder this is the one time that I'm actually glad Verizon doesn't use GSM and SIM cards because that would, you know, the reader and the card would actually take up more space. So no battery, no SIM card holder, gives you a nice thin small package. What it does have, let me show you here, you can flip this up. That is a little antenna if you need better coverage, although here in my home office I've gotten five bars of strength, which is fantastic. Signal strength has been very good so far. And you'll also see right here this little slot right there, guess what? That's a mini, I'm sorry, a micro SD slot. And I could have paid $100 less to get the USB 720, which is a uh, USB modem, also EVD or Rev A, but it did not have that little, little slot right there for a memory card. And I like that because it enables us as uh, this device as a card reader on any device I have. Fantastic. Um, so I have that. I've used it on the MacBook Pro. Uh, the download speed has not been that great. The upload speed has been very good, 600 kbps. Download's only been about 500 kbps. When you compare it to the edge speeds that I've had on this, it's already two, three times faster. So when I get into a, a very good coverage area, I should be in good shape. What I'm looking forward to, and something I really like, and maybe this is just me being a little vain, but this piano glossy black finish just matches the Samsung Q1P to a, to a T. I love it. So that looks pretty good. And of course, I'll be trying it with the Asus EPC. Here, we'll turn that over and give Asus a little, a little branding there, right there. Um, if I can get this working in Linux, we'll be in good shape, which I should be able to do based on the e-user forms. So in any case, um, just a quick size comparison. You can see, big, big difference. Um, hopefully, um, I'll have better luck on the coverage. I already am here in the home office. More importantly is, what's the coverage like where I'm going to be working? We'll find that out over the next coming days and weeks. So, hope you enjoyed this. And, uh, mm, clunky, skinny mini. I don't know. Have a good one.